An atomic bomb is one of the most destructive weapons ever developed by humans, a huge explosion caused by a sudden release of energy resulting from the splitting of the atom. Their first and only use in history was when the US dropped two on the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki in August 1945 at the end of World War II. When the war ended, the United Nations was formed in order to prevent another conflict like it. Since its inception, the UN has sought to eliminate nuclear weapons such as the atom bomb. The UN's International Court of Justice ruled that the use of nuclear weapons would violate international law, no matter the reason. Once the threshold to the use of nuclear weapons is crossed, the law will be a joke. These days, with talk of World War III perhaps on the horizon between countries who possess nuclear weapons, will the law against their use still stand? And if not, what are the consequences? My name is Danny Burke, and what would happen if the atomic bomb is used? Despite the UN denouncing the use of any nuclear weapon as unlawful, the global community's response to a nation using a nuclear weapon would depend on who used it and why. Right now, there are only nine nations on Earth who possess nuclear weapons. The US, Russia, the UK, France, China, India, Pakistan, Pakistan, Israel and North Korea. The first five on that list are legally recognized nuclear states. They have agreed to reduce their stockpiles of nuclear weapons, but still hold on to theirs as a nuclear deterrent policy. As we've discussed in other videos, nuclear weapons are often credited with keeping the peace between nuclear nations. All parties know that a first strike nuclear attack would mean mutually assured destruction for everyone involved. No winners, everyone loses. In a way, this answers the question about what would happen if one of the nine nations used their nuclear weapon, especially against another nuclear power, they themselves would quickly be on the receiving end of a nuclear weapon almost immediately. One only has to look at the Cold War, the tense nuclear standoff between the Soviet Union and the US, to see an example of this. In 1983, the nuclear early warning system of the Soviet Union reported multiple intercontinental ballistic missiles heading towards them from bases in the US. Steps were taken to ready the Soviet nuclear missiles to fire back at the US before America's missiles even landed. At the very last moment, an officer of the Soviet Soviet Air Defense Force recognized that the attack was actually an error in the computer system. There were no American nuclear missiles coming and he shut down the Soviet retaliation, preventing what would have been the death of millions and probably the start of World War III. So, Yes, if the atom bomb was used, retaliation would be swift, almost instantaneous. It would most likely be aimed at a city to cause maximum devastation. At first, there would be an intense flash of light, as quick as lightning but a thousand times brighter. The heat from the explosion would instantly set fire to anything within nine miles and cause devastating skin burns. Then, lethal X-ray waves will pulsate for up to two miles away. As the fireball and infamous mushroom cloud begins to form and rise, its brightness will increase, causing people up to 50 miles away to experience temporary or even permanent blindness. This is just the initial flash and fireball. Next comes the blast, which will flatten buildings for nine miles around and still break windows up to twice that distance away. In these first few seconds, almost everyone within two miles and half of all people within five miles would instantly die. Those that survived the initial blast would face raging firestorms and radiation poisoning. In fact, radiation at Hiroshima and Nagasaki are still above average even years after the bombs were dropped on them. So there you have it. Those are the international laws against the use of the atom bomb, what would happen if a nation broke that law, and the result of the bomb on the cities and the people it would hit. What are your thoughts on the atom bomb? Does it help keep the peace, or do you like to see a world without any nuclear weapons at all? Be sure to check out our other videos if this topic interested you. My name is Danny Burke, and you've been watching Life's Biggest Questions.